Season ends in one week, and I have yet to play a single game. Starting off with Loki here, it's the new character. I'm having a grand old fun time, but I might swap. We'll see. I haven't really played that much of him. The times that you've seen me play him in videos, that is 100% of my playtime, pretty much. So I should probably put in some more, get some ranked hours, and see how it goes. But also, I'm the type of person that gets bored incredibly quickly, so I might swap halfway through. We'll see how things go. For right now, Scythe and Katars, I'm feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Almost clashing there and getting hit into the wall. I don't know how my spot dodge was long enough to avoid that one, actually. But either way, I've got a good set of sigs to hopefully close out this stock. Nice. Now, since I'm in the red, I'm mostly looking out for any, uh, any, any big signatures from this Orion or a downlight in the air. There's that signature, and I did that the wrong way. Uh, not off to the greatest of starts. Also, I don't even know what that was. I missed my fastball. Okay, it's like, a, it's, it's like, a, it's a little bit of a rough start. That's okay. The start of rank sessions are always a little bit wonky, aren't they? There's the dodge there. Maybe if I end light. This is not boating well. Uh, never mind. Okay, but the vision was there with the end light, right? Like, you saw the idea. I didn't have jump, so, like, maybe I could do that to, like, capture somebody. <laughs> Just, like, the wrong way, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. It's late at night, too. I had a full day. I had a full day of school of classes, and then I went to go see a horror movie. So maybe that's why I'm, like, a little bit amped up right now. Also, missing a kill confirm right there. I actually probably wouldn't have killed. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna fall into this. Yeah. I don't know. I just got the sense that they're a dodge inner, and they, I mean, you see the read was correct. I was just a bit off on my timing, but that's the same read that I did in the previous stock there. Get some early damage. Damage, maybe a down sig right here. Probably not the best choice. Probably could have done an end sig like right there. Maybe a GC end sig would have been better. Could have caught them and then sent them down below, but that's okay. It's looking a little sloppy here. I don't know how this is gonna bode for 10 consecutive straight games. That was a little risky. I mean, that was like, we can admit that was like really dumb, but sometimes dumb works out. I don't know what it is with ranked in Miami Dome, but I always get Miami Dome for some reason. Wow, that is like, like a really smart thing to do against Scythe in the light HP ranges. Already up against diamond opponents here, so I should probably be a bit more careful with what I'm doing with my dodges. That's a blown GC, and I could be dead here. In all honesty, I didn't think that there was gonna hit me, and that's, um, yeah. Okay, I gotta get my head in the game. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I mean, that's like a really good start though. If they blow the recovery, yeah. So the problem with that is I didn't have a jump to do anything and then uh, and then I missed. I still feel pretty confident even though I lost my first stock like that. Like I get the sense that uh, they kind of have a very repetitive attack pattern, if that makes sense. Like they always attack in the same spots. If I jumped one more time that I probably would have hit there, but let's see, no dodge there, but recovery, no recovery, late recovery. I missed my fastball. But what I'm talking about repetitive attack patterns, you can kind of see in their movement, like they're gearing up to attack. I don't know if that makes any sense, but the moment I enter the range, they're like, oh, okay, I gotta press a button. One more down sig or one more side sig from me will probably kill. Also, probably should have dodged that, but that's okay. Uh, if I do a side sig right here, I am safe because you do jump at the very end and then just a quick back dash there and I think it'll take the stock. Like I said, I get bored quickly, swapping over to the casting. Also, I'm up against a Valhalla opponent. What are you doing with my placement games? I'm just trying to thrive here. Um, I could get a string, like a little bitty mini string there. Also a dodge in. Looks like I do tend to dodge in a lot. If they try to do these dash in approaches, I might be able to sneak under them, dodge down. Okay, I had the end sig. I was just a bit slow. Also, Caspian is not the character to do that with. Petra would probably be way, way better. Given that she has that massive uppercut, that's also very, very quick. I thought maybe a dodge in there. Uh, I shouldn't dodge down if they're going for that side light into Nair read. Also, kind of want to pick up Katars here. Not going to get that side light into down light. Probably could have dodged like upward or just waited and dodge inward since I know they're going for that side light to Nair. That side light to Nair is very good. You cover a lot of options. Yeah, you can see they're really hunting for me in the air. Going to wait for that down air. Wait for the down air again. Or a ground pound. That works too. Punish that one. Dodge in. No, it's a dodge out. Interesting. Sig. Uh, I felt a sig coming, but I guess either way, it was something punishable. That weapon toss does tend to bait out dodges frequently, so I was thinking like maybe I could get something out of it, but looks like I'm gonna get the KO anyway, and that's gonna be that. Bit of a rematch here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think Caspian's Gauntlet Down Sig got buffed recently, so that has more force. Not that that's like the biggest impact on my game. Well, backdash by accident there. That is always like the killer. Backdash tried to nair to interrupt that. You can see they're going for those end sigs on then instant attacks, because that move is difficult to punish. So I, I just wanna pick up the cards. Like, I'm just trying to pick up the cards. I, I couldn't even say it. Uh, they, I landed on the ground there. I could have gotten a full combo out of that, but I didn't think I was landing on the ground. Yeah, gonna do that second recovery to interrupt on the ledge, because I had a feeling that they thought I was gonna get antsy. There's that dodge out again, so maybe next time I'll punish that. No fade in. <laughs> Nice. So I do feel like my hands are slightly behind my brain here. That's okay. You might be wondering why I read a dodge in there when they've been dodging out the whole time. I, I just, I don't know. I had a feeling they really wanted to get back to center stage. Ooh, I didn't think that would hit me up there. But maybe I could get something here. Didn't jump again. Yeah, they are... I thought they thought I was going to jump there. And if I had better reaction time, I could definitely do something about it. But that's like the really funny thing is um, <laughs> reaction time. Yeah. Yeah, about that. I'm still reeling on the edge of my seat from the horror movie, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm thinking about something else. My reactions are not here. Okay, you can... Ooh, that's a cut dodge. I was a bit off. I was a bit off. I was just 
like slightly off. Okay, but they were slightly off and that works. Out. Oh my God, new dare angle. I literally forgot about that. Um, that's unfortunate. That probably could have been a kill. Let's be honest here. That should have been a kill. Um, exhausted recovery. If you don't know, your second recovery is uh, has a little bit of a boost when you use it. I'll show you right here. So this is first recovery. That second recovery has that little boost and that's going to mess up the combo. They're going to dodge and I missed it. Um, that's okay. Wait, did they land? I guess they did, but no, how did the dodge come back? No, no. Tell me how the dodge came back though. So you can explain and explain how the dodge came back. So, and, and I'm like curious about the dodge though. So the funny thing is it's late at night. So I'm queuing into the same person. But I did just start eating a pretzel, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I, it's not that loud, right? It's not that bad. That was a bad round on my part. They're gonna do a jump there. Yeah, they're expecting me to jump, like really panic jump immediately. Oh, that is um not the sick that I thought it was. I'm not doing the best here, guys. I'm not doing the best. That's okay. That's okay. I will get this kill, okay? They're gonna do like a dash in and then an air or an end light or one of those. And that way I can get my sight too. Finding myself behind here. Now, how will I mount this comeback? Maybe one of these? Is that gonna kill? Okay. <laughs> I was planning on doing a longer monologue, but I guess so. Why did I even question it? It's Caspian. Like, we all know. I tried to fastball there again. I keep missing my fastballs. That's not good, though. That's, like, really not good. They blew their dodge. Probably gonna attack right away. Yeah. Okay, the read was there, at least. I don't know what happened. I think I fat-fingered, but I meant to do that. Uh, I also probably meant to sidelight. No, I definitely meant to sidelight, because, like, why Why would I do a Sarah if I didn't mean to sidelight? That's gonna be a double downlight into Sarah. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I don't know why they went for the ground. I made to cover a lot of dodges, but I will take it. So what is it with ranked videos in Miami Dome? Because like how many games have I played in total and how many of them have- I didn't touch the wall. I like realized at the last second there. That could have been dangerous. That could have been bad. Let's see if they try to go for an insta silight and stuff. And if I can punish those, gonna dodge up because they didn't have jump, so they couldn't really follow me. Dodge up there. Honestly, if I didn't move to the side, I could have punished. Uh, missed a combo. Gonna go for side sig because in case they try to sidelight, I have a feeling it was gonna beat it. But I was incorrect. That's okay. Got the stock anyway. If I'm not punished for my mistakes, then will I keep making them? Probably. Um, I probably tried to jump there. I honestly could not even tell you. I don't know how I got an end light. I like ledge canceled that somehow. So missed my input and maybe a double. That was actually a great dare to, to interrupt my recovery because guitar recovery has a lot of priority and not a lot of moves can beat it. But spear dare in the right spot certainly can. Insta dare. Okay, my spacing was slightly off, but the read was there. I'm gonna go for one of these. That was a, that was a great dodge down. They probably sensed me sniffing for a dodge read or something. So yeah, 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 you can tell they're not even going for the insta dodge now. And I thought maybe that would uh, maybe that would work, but yeah, they're gonna look for like some big combo or go for instant attacks after I dodge most likely to get this comeback. So I'm just gonna stay calm. That tends to happen a lot with gauntlets, with scythes. Someone has a lead and then all of a sudden they start getting stringed and they start panicking and that's how the lead slips away. As long as you don't panic, you could be okay. I did blow an extra jump there that I really probably shouldn't have. So that, I jumped in expecting my weapon toss to hit and it didn't. So I'm just going above here. Yeah, they're gonna go for an attack right away. I could, I could just, I could feel it in my bones at this point you might have been able to feel it in your bones as well. Sarah there. They did blow a jump, so they only have one thing left here, and that should do it. Okay, nice, nice. Rayman can be quite scary. Luckily, we're on a map. Ooh, that's a dodge down. Okay, that's an early dodge down that we can sniff out. Yep, dodge down there again, I'm presuming, because they went off the ledge. Dodge down here. Okay, okay, we can sense a pattern immediately. They probably like to attack immediately after dodging as well, I would imagine, or getting right back into the combat after uh, after missing a dodge string is the impression that I'm getting. Maybe a jump near there. A Sarah, yeah, there's the instant attack I was mentioning. I was very slow on my ground pun, but I also missed, so that's okay. Gonna go for one of those, and that's a stock. It may not look it, but that dash back and forth was an important piece of, of landing that final KO puzzle. Couldn't quite track the movement there, but that's all right. I haven't seen them play Axe yet, but I presume that it's gonna be a, a lot of, like, swinging, and so if I just stay right outside the range, or if I get close and then go for, um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, that Nair was, was, was kind of clutch. That actually kind of saved my life. They're gonna go for... I thought they were going to go for Ensig again. I, I could have sworn, so I totally got tricked, totally got fooled. But I do have a general sense of how they're playing. That instant jump, I did miss. I was a little bit slow on that. Probably should have cleaned up the KO, but I feel confident. It's okay. It's not about the mistakes you make. It's about climbing your way back after you make them dodge down. Yeah, there's that dodge down. Going to go for a jump there. They're probably going to instant attack. There it is. And then one more time right here. Yep. If I was in position, probably could have gotten a better punish, but I thought they land on stage for one of these. Probably should have nared in all honesty. Going to go for this because I think... I had the dodge read. Can't do that on Caspian. I keep doing like these petrol reads. Imagine Petra Ensig there for sure. Oh well, that's okay. Uh, at this point, it's just about getting one single read or maybe even a side sig like right here, not right there. It's okay. I'm just trying to bait them up to do a recovery and then 
Yep, yep. Okay, I'm not crazy, right? Why is there so much Miami Dome? Also, at this point, should I just be playing Petra? Probably. But I'm in a Katar's mood. Loki got me in Katar's mood. That's a that's a dodge out and then an instant disengage, which gives me the sense that this player mayhaps will do something similar. Again, it won't like instant attack after dodging until they panic. And yeah, okay. So I kind of, I can't really verbalize it, but just the way they're moving. I think the way I explained it in one of the early games was also really bad. I'm sorry. I'm like a little bit rusty, a little out of practice, but yeah, okay. They seem to want to get right back into the action after like a short pause, which is, I guess, the way that I should phrase it next time. What will I do about that? I'll just be careful about my movement. Look at their movement, look at where they're going, and then track them down. I get the sense that the moment I get close, they're really going to want to attack, especially now that there's a bit of a deficit. And, uh, okay, that's a nice string there. Look at the damage. Look at that Caspian 7 strength coming in, uh, coming in. I, I think I'm in 6. I think I'm on 6. Either way, it's a fantastic start to the stalk, especially since the last one, they might panic more, might dodge in. There we go. Up against a Volkov, now the Gates of Hell. Now, if I'm not mistaken, is this the last one? I really have not been keeping track, and also the menu is broken in-game. That was close. That was, it was, it was, let's be honest, it was ambitious, but it was close. Maybe, oh, I thought maybe, I thought maybe. And I jumped too many times. I thought I had one more jump. I'm like not paying nearly enough attention to my resource today. Ooh, that's a caught dodge. Not quite the stock yet. I think maybe if I got both hits, it would have been. Yeah, that was just a bit of a feeler and then do one of these and still not gonna KO because it was on stage. You lose out on force. Maybe they'll go for a side light and end light. There we go. Now what I was doing there was a little subtle. It might look like, oh, I'm just standing in places like, ooh, goofy, but I was standing at the exact like range that is just outside of what they can hit. And I can also dash away or dodge back or something like that. So it was a, it wasn't order to bait out an attack. Ooh, that was a good dodge. Uh, maybe gonna go for an instant attack. Yeah. So I'm also getting the sense from this player. You can see there's some some patterns, some overlap. No instant dare there. Uh, but the moment that they're out of combat, they really just want to get right back into it. And that can really start to, uh, you can start to suffer if your opponent is reading that. Because then you get into a rhythm where you're not dictating the pace of the game, but your opponent is. I, there's <laughs> some, some weird movement going on there. I don't know exactly what I was doing. Uh, but the reason being is that you're attacking to their timing and their pace, and it's in between what they're doing. This could be the stock here if they dodge in. No, not quite. Maybe a dodge down. There we go. Catch a nair. Not quite. I thought I also dodged that there, but once again, reaction time is not my strongest, so maybe I shouldn't be doing these like super close dodges. I don't know. Gonna do a. Uh, oh, I was gonna say I was gonna do a down sig, but they did it first. They beat me to the punch. A bit risky. A bit risky. We can be honest. Maybe I. Uh, maybe I go for one of these, and that should close it out, I believe. Let's check it out. A bit sloppy towards the end there, but that is ten games in a row, ten placement games, which will land me. Well into diamond. That was fun.